Honestly, how have you been using the internet this whole time without knowing what a VPN is? It's like walking through a crowded city street shouting your home address and what you plan to have for dinner. Today, I'll explain how VPNs keep you hidden online to you like you're 5 years old. And by the end of this, you'll understand why your nephew won't stop talking about him. And you'll know how to put on some digital pants before going outside. Now, let's start with what the internet is like right now for you without a VPN. And think of the internet as a very, very busy school hallway. You walk out of your classroom, which is your computer, and you want to go to the library, which is a website. As you walk down this hallway, everyone can see you. The hall monitor sees you, the principal sees you, all the other kids see you. They can see where you came from, Classroom 101, and they see where you're going, the library. In the real internet world, the hall monitor is your internet service provider. That's the company you pay a frankly offensive amount of money to each month just to go online. They see every single thing you do. They see you go to your banking website. They see you go to a site to buy weirdly specific cat furniture. And they see you spend three hours looking up the symptoms of a headache and convincing yourself you have a rare tropical disease. They see all of it. They keep a little log of all your libraries, gymnasiums, and cafeterias that you visit online. It's like your parents reading your diary and then charging you for the privilege. And how do they see you? They see you because of your IP address. Now an IP address is your internet home address. It's like a special number that's assigned to you, and it tells the whole internet where your computer is. It's like your house number and street name. When you want to visit a website, your computer has to tell the website its address so that the website knows where to send the information back to. You say, hello, I am 123 Fake Street. Please send me your finest cat videos. And the website says, of course, cat videos on their way to 123 Fake Street. This is necessary. I mean, without it, you couldn't get anything online. But the problem is, it's not private. Everyone you interact with gets to see your address. And this is where a VPN comes in. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, which is a bunch of big, boring words. So, we're going to go ahead and throw them out. From now on, a VPN is a secret magic tunnel. That's it. It's a long, private, invisible tunnel that only you get to use. When you turn on your VPN, your computer doesn't just walk out into that busy school hallway anymore. Instead, it opens a little secret door in the classroom and enters your secret magic tunnel. The tunnel stretches from your computer to a different, special computer somewhere else in the world. And this special computer is called a server, and it's owned by the VPN company that you're paying. Now, think of this server as a secret clubhouse. Your tunnel goes from your room directly to the secret clubhouse. And this clubhouse, or server, can be anywhere. It could be in another city, it could be in another state, it could be on the other side of the planet. You get to choose, you can tell your VPN, today, I want my secret clubhouse to be in Germany. And poof, the end of your tunnel is now in Germany. So, what happens when you want to visit the website about cat furniture again? Well, with your VPN on, your request doesn't go out into the public hallway. It goes into your secret magic tunnel, and it travels through the tunnel and comes out the secret clubhouse server in Germany. Then, the server in Germany goes out and gets the cat furniture website for you. The website sees the request, but it doesn't see your home address. It sees the address of the server in Germany. Now, to the cat furniture website, it looks like a very punctual and efficient person in Germany is shopping for their cat. And the website happily sends all the information about scratching posts and laser pointers back to the Germany server. And the server then sends all that information back to you through the secret magic tunnel. It pops out of the secret door in your classroom, and you can now browse all the feline accessories that your heart desires. But what's the point of all this? Well, privacy. Your nosy hall monitor, the internet company, can't see where you're going anymore. They can see that you've entered your security tunnel, and they can see that your data's going somewhere, maybe to that server in Germany, but they have no idea what you're doing inside of that tunnel. They don't know that you're headed to the library or the gym. They just see a closed tunnel door. The logbook that they keep on you now is mostly blank. It just says, went into a tunnel, stayed there for a while. And the websites that you visit, they've got no idea who you are or where you really are. They think you're in Germany. Advertisers who want to sell you things will see a German visitor and show you German ads. They can't build a profile about the person at your specific home address. I mean, you've essentially put on a disguise and are using a different address. It's like mailing a letter, but instead of putting your return address on it, you give it to a friend in another country to mail it for you. Anyone who gets the letter will think that it came from your friend. You're a ghost, a digital ghost, who really likes cats. But wait, there's more. There's another layer to all this magic. 
and it's called encryption. Now this is another big fancy word, so let's just call it a secret code. Before your information even enters the secret magic tunnel, the VPN scrambles it all up. It takes your request, please show me cats and tiny hats, and turns it into complete gibberish. It looks like someone fell asleep on their keyboard, and this scrambling is the secret code. Only your computer and the secret clubhouse server at the other end of the tunnel have the special decoder ring to understand it. And why is this important? Because it means that even if someone could somehow peek inside your secret magic tunnel, they wouldn't be able to understand what they're seeing. Your internet company, which sees the tunnel, can't read the messages passing through it. It's like you and your friend are passing notes in class. The teacher might see you pass in the paper, but if you wrote the note in a secret code that only you two know, the teacher's got no idea what it says. All they see is a jumble of nonsense letters and symbols. They can't punish you for planning to release a frog in the cafeteria because they can't prove it. So, the VPN does two very important things. First, the secret tunnel hides where you're going and makes it look like you're somewhere else. Second, the secret code hides what you're doing, so even if someone is watching, they can't understand it. The tunnel is for your location, the code is for your actions, and together, they make you practically invisible. So, when would you actually use this? Are you a spy? Are you trying to do something you shouldn't be? Well, not really. Think about it in normal life. You close your blinds at night, right? Not because you're running a secret spy ring in your living room. It's because you don't want your neighbors watching you watching television in your pajamas. It's about basic privacy. A VPN is just blinds for your internet connection. A really important time to use it is out in public Wi-Fi. I mean, you know, at the coffee shop, the airport, maybe the hotel. That free Wi-Fi is like a public swimming pool. You've got no idea what else is in the water with you. Anyone with a little bit of computer knowledge can sit at another table and watch what everyone else on that network is doing. They can see the websites you visit and even try to steal your passwords. I mean, it's surprisingly easy. But if you're in your secret magic tunnel, all they see is scrambled gibberish. They can't get to you. It's like having your own personal submarine in the public pool. You also might use it to get around certain restrictions. I mean, have you ever tried to watch a video and it says, Sorry, this content is not available in your country. Well, the website knows that you're not in the right country because of your IP address, your internet's home address. So, with a VPN, you can just pick a secret clubhouse server in the country where the video is available. And now to the website, it looks like you're there, and it'll happily play the video for you. It's like asking your friend who lives in that country to stream it and point their phone at the screen for you but much faster. So, let's recap the whole journey. Without a VPN, you walk down a public hallway where everyone can see your face, your address, and what you're doing. But with a VPN, you turn it on and your request gets scrambled into a secret code. It then goes into a secret magic tunnel that leads to the secret clubhouse in another location. And the clubhouse then goes out to the public internet for you. It gets what you want and sends it back to you, still in the secret tunnel in the secret code. Your internet provider is clueless, the websites you're visiting are clueless, and that creepy guy at the coffee shop is clueless. You're a whisper in the digital wind, a ghost in the machine, a private citizen of the internet. So, a VPN is a secret tunnel for your internet's traffic. It gives you a new address somewhere else and scrambles everything that you do into a secret code. You see? You get it now? You're now officially smarter than you were five minutes ago. You can now nod knowingly when your friends talk about VPNs instead of just staring blankly and thinking about what you want for lunch. You are an internet privacy wizard. Now go on, get out there and use the internet without everyone looking over your shoulder. You've earned it.